Bohr's Nuclear Model by KScience.com In 1914, Bohr's Nuclear Model was the next major development in the history of the atom. This diagram represents Bohr's Nuclear Model. This is another way of saying atomic structure. The red circle represents the small, dense, positive nucleus, which is found at the centre of the atom. This cross represents the electron, which is found in the energy levels, also known as shells. The shell closest to the nucleus is the lowest energy level, and the shell furthest away from the nucleus is the highest energy level. Bohr was the first person to say electrons are orbiting the nucleus at fixed distances. Dalton said there were no electrons. Thompson said electrons were embedded throughout the positive sphere. Rutherford said electrons were orbiting at random locations around the nucleus, whereas Bohr was the first person to say electrons are orbiting the nucleus at fixed distances. And we're now going to find out how he came up with this idea. Bohr heated different atoms. These atoms absorbed heat energy, causing the electrons at lower energy levels to become excited and move up to higher energy levels, as shown by this orange line. So the electron was excited to a higher energy level due to absorbing heat energy. This caused light energy to be given out. The electron at the higher energy level would have been unstable. So after a short and random time, this electron would have fallen back from the higher energy level down to the lower energy level. The excited electron falls back to the lower energy level, releasing light energy, as shown by this blue line. The light energy given out is a specific amount of energy depending on the atom. Bohr realised this must be due to electrons being in fixed energy levels. As the specific amounts of energy released by different atoms were due to the electrons being in specific fixed energy levels, depending on the size of the atom and how many electrons are present in that atom. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's now go through a summary of Bohr's experiment. First, he heated atoms. Second, light energy was given out. And the amount of light energy released depends on the atom. Third, light energy was given out because the electron absorbed heat energy and got excited to a higher energy level. Fourth, the electron falls back to the lower energy level releasing energy equal to the amount of energy absorbed. This zigzaggy blue line moving away from the atom represents the light energy released. And finally, Bohr concluded, electrons are in fixed energy levels slash shells, which are at set distances from the nucleus. You may recognise this diagram showing two electrons on the first shell, eight electrons on the second shell, and eight electrons on the third shell. These electrons are located on the energy levels, and the circle in the middle is the nucleus. Bohr's model is the model we use to describe the atom. And this research was done in 1914, over 100 years ago, and still stands the test of time. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video.
Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.